the way we communicate is changing. It's getting faster, and we're optimizing for the smaller screen. And the written word just can't keep up. Can a word smile? Can it roll its eyes or say, sorry, not sorry? People use emoji because it provides context. If somebody were able to just explicitly say, hey, I'm flirting with you, or hey, I'm mocking you, that would just make my life a lot more efficient. And that's exactly what emojis do. That's why, here on the Chrome team, we're excited to announce Google Translate support for emoji. With the click of a button, our translation algorithm interprets the context and tone of words and distills them down into clear, articulate, meaningful symbols. Fancy gentleman. Cut a rug. Shy snowman. When we build the translation system, we need to understand how people are using language. So in building Translate for Emoji on Chrome for Mobile, we looked at lots of users and how they express different things using emoji. Emoji is processed in the occipital temporal sites, which is the same part of our brain that processes facial recognition. So basically, emoji is a language that everyone already knows. This is the next phase of linguistic evolution, and we want to provide this to all of our users. Our expert team is constantly evolving the language so it stays fresh and relevant. Well, we're really looking towards improving emoji support for very complex emotions like laughing so hard you're crying and you're a cat. The Chrome team is really excited about being able to translate the entire internet into emoji. URLs, emojified. E-commerce, emojified. Medical journals, emojified. Legal documents, emojified. Subtitles, emojified. Some of our engineers have even started to code in emoji. People spend 80% of their processing power recognizing and reassembling these little symbols we call letters. Here at Google, we're giving the 80% back to the user. 